Greetings and salutations, everyone! I am the Duck of Indeed, and we are now continuing... I forgot. We are now continuing Majora's Mask. And we just completed the Gold School Tola House in the swamp, and now we're going to take on the Gold School Tola House in the ocean. Yeah. So yeah, we are currently at the ocean. Right here. So we are going to go in here now. This is where the Gold School Tola House is. Elsa, what are you doing over there? Elsa's being silly. Hmm. Are they already here? I already hear something. This one is cooler, I think. I personally like this one more than the last one. I think this one's kind of creepier and it's kind of cool. This one's more interesting to check out. It's more interesting, it's creepier, and I love it. Ah, looks like the Gold School Tool has started already. Here we go. Oh, there's two. Like I said before, if you're gonna do this, I would highly recommend just waiting until you have the hookshot. It makes things easier. It's easier to just do this when you have the hookshot. Yeah. This place is pretty cool. I just think this place is spookier. Actually, no, it looks like you have to do do this with the hookshot. Looks like it's required. So, yes. So definitely come here with the hookshot. It's pretty cool. I like this place. It's, like I said, it's a lot creepier than the other one. And that's why I like it. I like creepy sometimes. I don't like horror necessarily, yet I like creepy, so it doesn't make tons of sense. Get rid of those webs. I don't think you necessarily have to get rid of both, but there is a spider. Woo! How exciting! I love these. Like I said, I love the side quest in Majora's Mask. And this is one of my favorites. I've been very excited to do this one for a while. If you want to get out of here, just uh, use Goron Link. Why would there be a tunnel coming in here like this? That mask is creepy on the wall. Or whatever. That face. That face is really creepy. Even though it has a smile, it looks less than welcoming. There's a spider on the door. I love this place, it's really cool. I think I'm done with the first room. This place is cool because it feels more like an actual building. That's what I like about it. This place feels like an actual building instead of just a random place. It actually- ooh, that, there's a- there's a Skulltola coming out from behind that mask on the wall. Also one up there. Ah! Darn it! I have terrible aim! Ah. Uh, stop it. Let's see. This place feels more like a real building, though. Because the other place is kind of random. There's another spider. This place is just creepy and old, and it's just- it's spooky. It's just old and creepy and kind of dirty, and it just- you can, it makes you wonder what this place was at one point in time. I think there are only Skultolas in the pots with the holes on top. If you look carefully, you can see that... Let's see. If you look from here... Now I'm taller. I still can't look. I kind of can. This one and this one have holes. The middle two don't. So I don't believe you can find anything in those two. Get up there. Maybe this will allow me to get that one. Darn it! Whoops. Got it. Boink! Seems like there's still more. Let's get rid of more spider webs. Oh, there could be some in those pots. Let's look! 
I don't know, I don't think you have to get all the webs, but I can't tell if there's holes in these pots. I'll just get both of them. Whoops. No link. Ah, nothing in those. This place is just so cool. Just looks so old. And it's creepy because it's like seems to be underground. No windows, just underground. Elsa! What you doing over there? Elsa's being silly. Oh, there's one. It's, um... That one is slinking along the top of the wall. That one's a little bit hard to find. Ah! It hit. Maybe I should try an arrow. I wonder if that would be any more effective. Try it. Come on, you dumb thing. There we go, that worked. Better. Let's get my fire arrows back. I'm just getting rid of all the webs, whether I need to or not. I'm a neat freak like that. Okay, I don't think any of these pots have holes in them, those particular ones. So... Ah! Ah! I don't know, you're gonna be in there? You spooky little thing. Let's see. Oh, why did I do that? Don't do that. You just wasted stuff, silly. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, let's just try all these. I don't know which ones have holes. I think it's too short. Okay, that one does. I don't think the other two do. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of these things. I love this place. This place is cool. Oh, it went under the mask again. It'll come out. It's so creepy. So in here, there's a hole in the wall. You look inside, there is a gold Skulltula deep in there. Which is kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy looking in there because it's pitch black. It's just completely dark in there. Which is really creepy. Is that it? No, that's not it. There's more. Sometimes you gotta wait a few moments for them to start- Whoops! There's another one. Whoops! Ow! Kill it with fire! No, that didn't work. Let's not waste magic. How do you get it from- from there? Uh, can you do it? I don't know. You're taller. There we go. Got it. Yeah, you can hear these things moving around so it's not too hard to find them. But sometimes you have to wait a few moments. You can't just, um... You can't just immediately listen for a second and assume there's nothing there. If they're far away, they might be kind of quiet, or if there's... I thought I heard something. And if there's only one left, usually the noise from it isn't as constant. There's constant noise when there's a lot of them. Let's, let's start from up here. Let's start with this door. But if there's only one, you sometimes have to listen longer. Ooh, an old library. That's cool. Ooh, I love this place. It's cool. Oh yeah, unfortunately I can't talk to him right now. It's a stout child. They were the cursed... Cursed. I don't know why I keep saying cursed. Cursed soldiers of the kingdom of Ikana. Ikana. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I'm gonna just leave him alone. He's getting ready to read, I think. He has no book. If you're going to read, you need a book. Why don't you have a book, silly mister? Yeah, you later can get a mask so that you can talk to these guys. And 
I forgot about that until I started this, so it's a little bit of a shame. It's kind of a shame because it would have been kind of cool to talk to these guys, but I can't currently do that without the mask. So... Yeah. Unfortunately, without the mask, not much I can do. Oh, you can knock those down, I believe. That's- let me- I don't want to do that yet. I want to get closer to that, actually. Before I do that. Oh, there's something behind here, I believe. This area- these areas are pretty difficult. Because... There's just a lot of things that you wouldn't think to look at. You definitely wouldn't normally think to look here. And also I'm pretty sure that if you knock those paintings down you can get another one. Again! Why would you know to look there? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I ever found out. Like I said before, I'd like to say that I figured out myself. But I might not have. Oh, you can climb up these shelves. There's another stealth child here. Like I said, unfortunately we can't talk to him right now. You can attack them, and if you attack them, they'll attack you. So it's best not to. Oh, another one. Best to just leave him alone. Uh, yeah. Best just to leave him alone, but, uh... You can talk to them later, though, which is cool. But unfortunately, I don't have the right thing. There's a lot of paintings here. And it looks like Skull Kid. Which is kind of strange. This place is just... I really like this place because it's kind of spooky and mysterious. It's just kind of scary and mysterious, and like, why are there paintings of Skull Kid here? You can just- I thought you could had to shoot it with an arrow. You don't need to do that. Just hit it with your hook shot. So. But yeah, this place is pretty cool, and like I said, it feels really mysterious to me. Because you got these skull- you got these stout children here. I'm not sure what the heck they're doing here. And you have- Pictures of Skull Kid, and it's just kind of cool here. I love this place. It's really cool. Let's see. I gotta make sure I finish this place quick enough. Because it is the third day right now. There are more! I'll start looking a little more carefully. Ooh, it looks like there's definitely something behind that one. I'll definitely start looking more carefully once I don't hear them anymore. But considering I hear them, I may as well just go through kind of quick and look for them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just not looking very closely right now, because I don't need to. There's tons to look for. Okay, there's more. Are there any more in the ceiling? No. Uh, oh! Oh! One thing that's interesting about this one is you can see a torch. It's kind of- it kind of tricks you because the bookcases already have little areas with candles. They already have little areas with candles. That's what makes this one so tricky, is at first glance, when you see this, you think it's the same thing. You just think it's a little candle. But it's not. You can see it's a torch. There's actually a hole in the wall behind this bookcase with a torch, so... That one's kind of cool. That's a cool little secret area. I love the secrets here. It's just so cool! Oh, we already got most of them. Gotta listen quietly now. As far as I can tell, I think I got everything in this room. I don't hear anything. Okay, I think this room is done. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna stop there. I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm gonna stop right there. In the next video, we're gonna check out the rooms downstairs. Like I said, I wish I had come here when I had the mask to talk to the Stow children. Unfortunately, I didn't. I just really like this area. It just feels so mysterious. There's so many cool secrets, and it feels like an actual real building, and then you have the skeletons here, and you have pictures of Skull Kid on the wall, and it's just so cool. This place is just really awesome. It just, it feels like there's a lot more to it 
than what we see on the surface, and it's it's a secret that will likely never be uncovered. We can always speculate on what this place was meant for, but we will likely never know. It's just cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and check out our other delightful videos here on YouTube. And also visit our blog at WeGameUnited.com. And in the next video, we should be able to finish up this Skultula house, which will be pretty cool. Goodbye, everyone.